You're listening to the home of Underdog College Sports, 97.6. The Legend. Good evening, everyone. Gamer360 Sports here, and you're listening to 97.6 The Legend. Today is November 19, 2007, and once again it's time for our hourly coverage of the top news from across the country and college basketball. The NCAA Player of the Week was announced for the opening week of the season as it was won by the University of New Orleans' own Bo McCabe, who dropped 38 points in his team season opener. He also grabbed 7 rebounds, had 3 steals and 3 assists, and shot 43% on the game. No one else scored more in the opening week than he did. Congratulations go out to him and his team for us here in 97-6, and we all know how hard it is to win the national part of the week at such a small school. The top 25 polls were also updated for the media and coaches polls, where Memphis swapped spots with Kansas to start the opening week for the media poll. The entire top 25 in the media poll up until Texas A&M was undefeated, some getting as many as four games to start off the year. The coaches poll saw Kansas stay at number one and had some more mid-major schools jump in, such as St. Louis at number 19. The biggest mover was Davidson, where they jumped to number 23 in the media poll and number 18 in the coaches poll. Now, the first mid-major poll of 2007 saw a couple strong starts from Davidson in Nevada, but not that much else afterwards. Much of the poll was either winless or sitting at 500 on the season. So right now the mid-major conferences are not starting off that hot. Now it's time for our small conference news, starting off with the Southern Conference. Over the weekend so far, the College of Charleston played off against 2-2 two two Marist, where they lost a close one, 64-62. Their next game is against Charleston Southern on November 28th. Ellen faced off against Georgia State and beat them easily, 72-59. They play tomorrow at 1-1 Georgia. Furman lost to one of the top mid-major teams in the country, St. Louis with the score 74-60. They begin conference play next against Georgia Southern on November 23rd. And speaking of Georgia Southern, they beat Steezen for their first win of 2007, 77-75. UNC Greensboro went on the road to face Missouri State, winning easily 77-61. And will face off against an 0-4 South Carolina Upstate next on the 24th. Appalachian State, one of the top teams in the mid-major poll, beat MTSU 71-65 at MTSU and will go on the road again to face Campbell on Tuesday. And now that'll wrap up your latest scores, now let's go to our game previews for this week. The Citadel Bulldogs, as awful as they've been, can finally get a chance to win this week as they take on Penn. But someone has emerged out of this awful season is Demetrius Nelson, the Bonafed star of this team. He's now dropping 23 points per game, which puts him among the top players in the nation and has helped make the scores of the previous two losses a little bit better. He's been working the gym on his post moves with no look, as he shot 7 of 23 in today's drills. If he wants to be the main factor against Penn, he'll have to shoot at least 50% on the game and grab at least 7 rebounds. Now Penn, meanwhile, is one of those Ivy League schools that can go either way this year. Their first loss came to Iona, Maryland, 84-77, but they defeated Howard 68-60 the next game. And so far, it's looking like Tyler Pendarnini will be the X-Factor for Penn. He's averaging 16 points per game and has shot 5-9 and nine from deep in his first two games as the three balls become the way to stay in the games for Penn. Also shooting 5-9 and nine is their point guard, Aaron Cohen, who is also getting 9 9.5 points per game. Both of these guys will be factors from deep tomorrow, that's for sure. I predict despite Thomas's impact so far on the team and the balanced matchup, Penn will still win this one 93-77 due to a three-point clinic from the Quakers. We're going to commercial break. You're listening to 97-6 The Legend. You're listening to Southern Conference Basketball in the home of Underdog College Sports, 97-6. The Legend. Welcome everyone to the Palace Draw here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home of the Penn Quakers. For today's matchup between the Citadel Bulldogs and the Quakers here on 97-6 The Legend. 
There's tons of history here at the Palace Draw as the Quakes have played here since 1927 and it's considered the birthplace of college basketball. Our key matchup for today's matchup is currently the shooting guard position with Michael Kack as well as Monte Simmons. So right now it could be an interesting matchup. Penn could be an outmatch, but this is one of the closest matchups you'll see this season for the Citadel Bulldogs. You can see Monte Simmons, the freshman, is currently 57 overall, but he can do better. Penn currently has the outmatch with a 64 overall. It'll be interesting to see if the top three-point shooters on the team light it up today. Now here's your lineups. It's the usual lineup for Citadel, and Penn will have Raninati starting at the small forward position. Here we go as the tip-off here at the Palace Draw. And it's underway as we're going to start college basketball here for Ivy League versus Southern Conference. It's going to be Demetrius Nelson in the post. He's going to go for a hook shot, and he's got the first basket of the game. Gaines will bring it down the floor. Graninelli on the outside gives it a cock, and that's going to be a reaching foul by Walter Howard. That's the first foul of the game. No one knows why it just reached in, but right now this is one of the top stadiums you'll ever see. It hosted so many events up until 1967 when the Spectrum was built here in Philadelphia, and it was forced to host many events because... It was owned by the same group as Madison Square Garden back then, which meant they had to book the exact same place as right here if they wanted to play at Madison Square Garden. That meant a ton of events have played here at the Palace Draw. A ton of history, and this team has not won a tournament game since 1993, as that's going to be a miss. And Gaines will bring down the floor. Calling for the double team right now. And it's going to be an open basket for Gaines, the first for Penn today. And Wells will be pressured because they're bringing the full pressure. Looks like it's going to be pressure. Monte Simmons from the top of the three-point line. And he's going to shoot it. Foot on the line. That counts as a two. First assist for Wells on the night. And it's going to be passing inside to Riley as Walter Howell will foul him. It's actually Matt Clark. And that's going to be the second foul for Citadel. They're going to the line to shoot two. And going into Demetrius Nelson into the post. Down low is Demetrius Nelson, up and under. He's going to drain it for the easy deuce. He's shooting 100%, 2 for 2 so far. We need him to drop 20 points if he wants to win. That was what Alan Del Rosa said. Penn is trying to keep into this game, but the pressure is on just like the game before. Turnovers killed Citadel last time. It's not happening today so far. Demetrius Nelson in the post. Passing now to Walter Howard. He shoots for three. He's going to miss. Rebound by Riley. That was the first three by Citadel. As cut as that's going to be passed around. Randelli is going to be fouled by Matt Clark. His second. That's going to be a substitution. Went down low, Demetrius Nelson. And it's stripped away by Eggleston. And that's going to be brought down the floor by Carr. And Gaines now driving in the paint. He's not going to get fouled. That's going to be a three-point ball game. And now it looks like they're fast breaking down the floor. Demetrius Nelson will get the ball back in the post. Monte Simmons open for the two-point jumper. He drains it. And that's the first assist by Nelson. As now Simmons has four. And Nelson has four. And it's stolen by Walter Howard. The first corner over by Penn today. As Walls will go to the line to shoot two. Penn right now is currently at one and one. Can they improve for the rest of the season? As they tie it back up. Gaines has six. They haven't gone to their top scorer, Ben Darnini, so far. Passing around, Demetrius Nelson in the paint. He continues to cruise. Assist by Dugan. No one was covering him under the basket. Eight points by Nelson. Wells dribbling down the floor. He's going to be doubled. Passing down. It's turned over again. That's going to be the third turnover already for Citadel. Gaines dribbling into a person. And it looks like Grandelli is going to pass to Gaines. Gaines back to Grandelli. Back to Gaines. Gaines setting up a play. Man coming around the three-point line. It's Cock. And it's going to go back to Gaines. He's going to dribble into Turley. He is rejected by Dugan. And is put back in the net on the rebound by Eggleston. Gofield trying to stand around. Here's the drive. Rejected. Here's the fast break. And Demetrius Nelson is going to go down the floor. Durbinus. Passing around, try to set it up. Demetrius Nelson driving in the paint. He's got another easy deuce. That's 11 points on the night. McDowell coming around. He's an athletic shooting guard. Small forward kind of combo. 
He's dunked at him many times so far, but he trips on his own two feet. Turnover number five. Gaines will go down the floor. And Gaines dribbling in. He finds Lewis for the easy deuce three-point game. Double team comes. Passing again. Down the floor. Almost turned over. McDowell gives it out to Dawn for three. Bang! And that ties it back up. It's almost stolen by McDowell. He tries to save it and he does not. Here we go. Gaines. Dribbling around to Bendarnini on to the other side of Cofield. He's going to go in for two. It's again a two-point game. Cameraman is tripping around. Monte Simmons going to be doubled. Almost turned over. McDowell is going to dribble it down the floor. Trying to pass it around. Try and get the open lane. And for some reason, they're just passing it around like nothing's going on. Walter Howard's going to pass. Monte Simmons in the paint to Dawn, and he's got the two. Monte Simmons with his first assist, running the point guard spot. It's going to be a missed free throw. Demetrius Nelson on the rebound. Going to run down the floor. Finds Walter Howard. He's got the easy deuce on the fast break. And that's another assist for Wells. That will be assist number three on the game. Gaines going to set the play for Penn. He gives it to Grandelli. And now he's going to try and dribble. Wells guarding him hard. Finds Gaines to Cock. Dribbles over the defender, and that's going to be an easy two. One point game again. And the pressure is on and down the floor. And it's going to leave Demetrius Nelson open for the slam. And he's got 13 points here in the first half with 421 to go. He's shooting 100%. You expected him to line it up today, and he has. He's one of the top scorers in the nation right now. Now Gaines setting up the play. Going to pass it to Grandelli on the outside. Riley with the pick. And that's going to be a hook shot one point game. And there's Cock for three. He's going to miss and it's a rebound by Dawn. Walter Howard down the floor. In the paint to Monte Simmons. And a nice fast break offense. They're going the running gun so far in this one. Six points for Monte Simmons. Timeout pen. It's a one point game with 2.49 to go here at the Palestra. We'll be right back. You're watching College Basketball. On 97-6, the legend. 29 to 28 right now. Pressure is on for the first blow away lead. The biggest lead in the game is three points by Penn. As Penn takes the lead right back as they go in the paint for the easy two. And here's Demetrius Nelson in the post. Passing outside, almost turned over. Monte Simmons on the jump on the wall. He's gonna be blocked. And Cox is gonna bring down the floor. Penn Darnini into the paint. Finds Grandelli and that's gonna be easy two. Three point game again. Ties up the biggest lead in the ball game. And once again, passing again. Monte Simmons outside for three. He misses. Rebound by Walter Howard. He's going to put it in for two. Trying to get by Simmons. Bedarnini, the top scorer on Penn, drives down the baseline for point number four in the ball game. Down to 16 on the shot clock. Not trying to get a five. Closely guarded call. As that's going to be Demetrius Nelson off the front of the rim. Ten seconds to go. Penn will drive it down. Caught. Down to six, down to five. Driving in, into the paint. Lewis, hook shot, he drains it as the buzzer sounds and Penn's got the biggest lead of the ball game. They're up 38 to 33 at halftime. Now here's your stats right from the scorer's table. Right now, Citadel is shooting 46%, but Penn's shooting 58%. One to six from deep right now for Citadel and it's growing four of eight from the free throw line for Citadel as well. Four for six for Penn. Demetrius Nelson has the most points. 13 on the ball game. And Gaines and Grandelli have eight each for Penn. Your star of the first half is currently Gaines, the point guard. As he's been driving it in with ease and making easy buckets. No one's dominated so far except for Demetrius Nelson. We're going into commercial break. You're listening to 97.6 The Legend. And welcome back everyone to the Palace Draw here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Right now, Pennsylvania is up 38 to 33. The Ivy League school taking on the Southern Conference. And right now it's showing. Smarts are currently working over athletics right now in this game. Trying to set up a pick. Cox is going to try and drive in. He's being closely guarded. Grandelli to Riley. As there's the defense getting to him as Grandelli is going to put it back in. Seven point game for Penn to start off. Pressure is already on after the inbound. And Clark's going down the floor. Can they stop him? Matt Clark's going to be fouled by Lewis. 
That's the first foul for Penn in this half. Fans are upset on that call. That was very contested. Calling for the double team right now. As Gaines being doubled by Matt Walter Howard. Caught, guarded by Demetrius Nelson. And it's stolen in the paint. That's turnover number five for Penn. Matt Clark, and he's going to go and lay it in. A little bit weak, but Matt Clark's got three points on the night. That's his first shot in the entire game. Good drive around is Grandelli. Back to Gaines. Back to Grandelli. Back out to Cock. He's out to the outside baseline, and he's going to make the layup. Six-point ball game. And Citadel's cut down on the turnovers. Matt Clark against driving. To Demetrius Nelson, and he's going to lay it in for two. His first basket of the half. And Matt Clark's first assist. And Wells to Matt Clark. Outside to Monte Simmons for three. Bang! That brings it down to three on the first three of the half for Citadel. And that's going to be one for three from deep for Monte Simmons. Matt Clark's second assist. He's becoming a factor right now in the second half. Driving in as Lewis. He hits the front rim. It's almost stolen on the fast break attempt. And it's stolen this time. Citadel's fifth turnover. As Gaines going to the line to shoot two. Monte Simmons with his first second team foul. And Gaines will drive it down the floor. Calling for the double. Grandelli will go in for the easy deuce in the layup. Now he's got 12. That's going to make the lead and the leader score. And it's going to be a turnover. Two consecutive turnovers at once. It's a backcourt violation. He took the steal in the front court. He went to the backcourt. And that's a turnover for Penn. As that will now be seven turnovers for Citadel. Not seven. Six for Citadel. And that will be seven for Penn. When you think about all the history here. Like the Intercontinental Cup. And all kinds of NCAA postseason tournaments. Right now, the Palestra is one of the most historic places in college basketball. Right now, Penn has, has the privilege of playing here. When you look at back in the history books, you can see Penn has actually been the first person team to ever play alongside Yale with five on five rosters, which means they are an innovator in the college basketball world, in the basketball world. Without these, without the Penn Quakers, we will not have current basketball as you see it right now. It could be three on three, four on four. Maybe it's 10 on 10. Maybe it's a football field. Maybe the court's the size of a football stadium. I don't know. But right now, history could be really different without the Penn Quakers as Lewis slams it down. And Wells, oh my goodness, Demetrius Nelson with the slam as he cocks it back. Next set by Dugan, driving around. He's going to give it out to Monte Simmons. And it's going to be Walter Howard on the jumper. He misses. Rebound by Ben Darnini. His first. And Gaines will drive it down. Grandelli. He's going in for two. It's still a three-point game. Timeout, Coach Allen Del Rosa. And it's a three-point ball game here at the Palace Draw. We're going to commercial break. You're listening to 97 6 the legend. Dugan passing around. Trying to find the open lane. Right in offense. Passing in. Dugan. He's going to get the easy deuce. His first make of the ball game. He struggled in the paint today. One for four so far. The worst shooter on Citadel today. Driving in, and that's going to be easy two by Gaines. He's up to 12. Now passing around, waiting for the pressure to come. And that's almost stolen. Monte Simmons, jumper in the mid. He misses, rebound by Lewis. Down to 8.48 to go. That's going to be an easy two as Ben Darnini's got three assists. Seven point ball game. Question is what's going to happen as right now it's pressure. Matt Clark is swatted hard and the fans cannot believe it. It was swatted back into his face. And Dugan will go to the line to shoot two as Cock gets the blocking foul. Trying to set the charge is second personal. Here we go passing around Simmons to Don. And that's stolen by Turley. Trying to get the pressure as Cock will bring it down. Citadel's up to nine turnovers. Gaines doubled. And he's going to pass it off the foot of Wells. Penn will save it. And Cock will make it a nine point game, the biggest of the ball game. Right now, you're seeing some of the Citadel Bulldogs fans getting upset. Rebound by Walter Howard. And that's going to be a miss in the paint. Yikes. The fans are getting into this. Grandelli 
as Penn is taking over. They're starting a new chance. Bentonini in the paint for two. Timeout again. We're going to commercial break. We'll be right back. Bring it down the floor now. And they need a three. They need a spark. Right now it's not looking good as Dawn contested three off the front of the rim. Very close. And again, Grandelli open in the paint. 15 point game. You can feel the energy building up here. And Demetrius Nelson in the paint to shoot two. He misses in the paint. And right now, Coach Allen Del Rose has lost the situation. And now it's a 17 point ball game. Five minutes to go. No chance for a comeback. Because all momentum has swung. All their points lately have come off free throws. They haven't made a shot in the past three minutes. Matt Clark will make his first free throw. Simmons and Wells are long overdue. They're on the floor. They've shot terribly at the free throw line. They shot terribly from the three point line. And now they're playing terrible defense. Penn shot 58% in the first half. And right now, your top scorer is jogging down the floor. That is a disgrace. This is never quit offense needed right now. Demetrius Nelson has been shelled in rebounds tonight. And now it's another Grand Deli basket. 78 to 57. Gaines on the outside, double team. This time it's stolen up to double digit turnovers. And the Apple turnovers are getting worse and worse. Monte Simmons open from deep. Misses off the front rim. And again, bad defense. 20 point game, two minutes to go. You can kiss this one goodbye. The full octane offense and there's a slam by Nelson. 15 seconds to go. Cheerleaders coming on the court. And Smith will try and run it up. 11 seconds to go. One last shot attempt. Wells from the top of the three point line. Four seconds to go, and Penn will move to two and one on the season as they dribble it out. The final score in this one will be 89 to 66 Quakers. And the Palestra went nuts today, thanks to Grandelli dropping 20 points. Another 16 points by Gaines, and Ben Darnini off the bench, scoring like Wills. And you can tell, Grandelli did not miss. 9 of 13. And you've been listening to College Basketball on 97 6 The Legend. Another loss by Citadel. 0 3 to start off the season. Another meltdown. Can this happen again? It better not, as they are taking on Charleston Southern next. Penn moves to 2 and 1. And you've been listening to 97 6 The Legends College Basketball Coverage. I guess I got a little bit overconfident because this game was really close with 10 minutes to go. Then all of a sudden, Penn and the Quakers just took over. As you can tell, Ben Darnini, as well as many other players on Penn, just dominated in this game. Demetrius Nelson struggled in the second half. He didn't rebound well like he was supposed to. And overall, our three-point shooting and free-throw shooting went completely empty and completely missing in the second half. Now anyway, this one, I'll wrap up this episode of the Career Legacy with Coach Alan Del Rosa. If you have any comments or anything to say about this video, Tell me in the comment section below. Also, leave a like before you leave, and also follow me on Twitter at Gamer360Sports. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.